Hey kids, welcome back to another children's message video. Today we're going to be talking about a story where Jesus healed a blind man. I got a picture of Jesus here in front of me and we're going to use that in just a minute. But imagine what it would be like if you couldn't see very well or if you couldn't see at all. Our eyes are so important and life would be very difficult if we couldn't see at all. So we're going to use this picture of Jesus to help illustrate what that might have been like for this man whom Jesus healed. Okay, so here's our picture of Jesus. If we took a glass cup and held it in front of us, we can still see the picture of Jesus, right? If we tip it this way, it's a little bit more blurry, but you can still see the picture. Here's a red Tupperware lid, and if we stick that in front, we can still see, but everything looks kind of red. Got a pair of sunglasses here, and if we were to put these sunglasses on, well, as you know, you can still see, but things are a little bit darker. This right here is like a drawer liner. Imagine if this is all you could see. Everything was kind of blurry and fuzzy like this. It'd make things very hard. But imagine if your world was completely dark. Imagine if you couldn't see anything at all. In fact, what if you had never seen anything your entire life? Well, that's what it was like for a certain man. He was born blind. But then one day, Jesus healed him. The story of Jesus healing the man who was born blind is a really interesting story. Part of the reason why it's so interesting <laughs> is because of how Jesus chose to heal this guy. What Jesus did was he <coughs> spit on the ground and he mixed the spit and the dirt together and he put it on the man's eyes. And then he told the guy, go wash in a certain pool in town and you'll be able to see. So the man went and did just as Jesus said. He went to the pool and, and washed it off. And sure enough, he could see. <laughs> Imagine how happy he must have been to be able to see for the very first time. I bet you he didn't even care that spit and mud had been put on his eyes because, well, he could see. Well, he ended up talking with a lot of other people that day. Some people didn't think that he was the guy who had been born blind. Others were convinced, nope, this is definitely the guy. And then there were other people who were very upset. Some people didn't like Jesus, and they were very upset that Jesus had healed this guy. And, and they were, oh, oh man, trying to get this man to say that, nope, it wasn't Jesus, and he didn't heal me. They were very upset. But this man insisted, no, Jesus is the one who healed me. Well, Jesus met up with this guy later on that day and had a great conversation with him. And this man came to know who Jesus really is. And he came to trust and to believe in Jesus, that Jesus is the Savior. And so what a wonderful, happy day that must have been for this guy. He not only was able to see with his eyes for the very first time, but he also came to believe in Jesus as his Savior. And so what a wonderful day for this guy. What a happy day. And what a wonderful gift that God gave, uh, that Jesus gave this man when he healed him, but also helped him come to know that he's the Savior. What a great story. Hey, thanks for joining me today for this message and look forward to seeing you again next time. Have a great day. Bye-bye.